Preparing for adult life is one of the most important transitions a family and their young adult can expect. Transition planning is as important as reading and math. It is important for you, as the family of a young adult with a disability, to actively participate and partner in the transition planning process, keeping your transitioning young adult in the driver's seat with you as your child's best champion. Learn all that you can. Become familiar with the steps you need to take to best support your young adult during this crucial time as they approach their future destination. The goal of this transition process is to help your young adult successfully and seamlessly move into life after school. In Maryland, planning for the transition process starts at age 14, and conversations about transition become a part of your young adult's annual Individualized Education Program, or IEP, meetings. When young adults turn 14 years old, a transition plan must be developed in their IEP, and best practices show the earlier you develop this plan, the better. Understanding the difference between entitlement versus eligibility is essential during the transition process. A young adult who receives special education services is entitled to a free, appropriate public education until age 21. After age 21, young adults and families must apply for services to see if they are eligible to receive them. During this time, families will be asked to begin with the end in mind. Start thinking about what vision you have for your child and how you can accomplish that vision together. Your IEP meetings will give you opportunities to discuss your young adult's strengths and preferences. And these discussions help to empower young adults and their families. At this point in time, you may think it's too early, but it's never too early to start transition planning. Remember, you are the expert on your young adult. Start preparing yourself and your young adult for life after high school. You will begin to plan for your young adult's future employment, continuing education and training, and independence. It's a process of cooperation between families and schools. In this video, we will provide families with five transition tips for developing a strong transition plan that will help young adults with disabilities achieve their greatest abilities and biggest dreams. Here are five transition tips to help you plan for your young adult's life after school. Tip one, it's never too early nor too late to start preparing for life after high school. Get involved. Attend local activities, such as sports, clubs, and faith communities to help your young adult get involved in their community. Help your young adult love learning. Help your young adult start to discover more about the world around them and to start thinking about how and why things work the way they do. Create schedules and routines. Teach your young adult time management skills, such as using a calendar and following a schedule. Help them plan out their own time and set goals for themselves. Tip 2. Empower your young adult to be involved in the transition process. Talk to your young adult early about what is important to them. What are some of the goals identified by your young adult? What is your vision for your young adult's transition? Gradually increase responsibilities at home and in the community. Talk to your young adult about their disability. You may have to address uncomfortable topics along the way, but this is a good thing. Make sure your young adult attends IEP meetings and shares their thoughts, likes, dislikes, goals, and plans. It's important that they understand the meeting is about them. Tip 3. Create a strong network of support. You are not alone. Ask for help, both in and out of school. Take advantage of the services and professionals available to you and create positive partnerships between your young adult, family, school, and service providers. Know what roles your transition coordinators and service providers play in the process. Reach out to adult disability service agencies early and make sure you get on wait lists if needed. Attend parent and family workshops on transition planning. Reach out to other families and adults with disabilities and find out what has and hasn't worked for them. 
Tip 4. Teach, Enhance, and Support Self-Advocacy. Ask Questions. Your IEP team and service providers are there to help, and you can't ask too many questions. Do your research. There are many resources on the internet that can help you learn more about the process. Knowledge is power. Learn the jargon. There are many complicated words and acronyms used to describe services used during the transition process, like DOORS, DDA, and DSS in college. If you don't understand what something means, ask. You know your young adult best. Listen to your gut. If you don't understand your team's recommendations, speak up and ask questions. You are a critical partner. Empower your young adult to advocate for themselves during team meetings, in school, at work, and at home. This is their transition plan and their future. Tip 5. Never give up. Be patient and creative. You won't be able to understand or be successful at everything at first. There may be bumps along the way, and that's okay. It's all part of the process. Remember the importance of partnerships and relationships. Take one day at a time. Sometimes it's one hour at a time. Either way, celebrate every success, no matter how small. Here are some important transition resources. Maryland Learning Links, www.marylandlearninglinks.org. Maryland Transition Resource Guide, www.mdtransitions.org. If you have any questions about transition, please contact the Maryland State Department of Education, Division of Early Intervention and Special Education Services, 410-767-0238, www.marylandlearninglinks.org. MSDE partners with Maryland's Parent Training Information Center, the Parents Place of Maryland, 410-768-9100 www.ppmd.org